Run the code online or download from codegive.com, link in the description below. Sure, here's a tutorial on how to exit interactive mode in Python. When working with Python in interactive mode, you might need to exit the interactive shell and return to your command line or terminal. Exiting the interactive mode is straightforward, and there are a few methods you can use to achieve this. Python provides a built-in function called exit, that can be used to exit the Python interactive shell. When you call exit, it terminates the Python process and returns you to the command line or terminal. Here's how you can use the exit function. After executing this command, you'll be returned to your command line or terminal prompt. Similar to exit, Python also provides a quit function that can be used to exit the interactive shell. It behaves in the same way as exit and terminates the Python process. Here's how you can use the quit function. Executing quit will also return you to your command line or terminal prompt. Another way to exit the interactive shell is by sending a keyboard interrupt signal. You can do this by pressing Ctrl plus C on your keyboard. This sends a signal to the Python interpreter to interrupt the execution, effectively exiting the interactive shell. If you're executing a Python script or a block of code within the interactive shell and want it to exit automatically upon completion, you can simply run the script or code. Once the script finishes executing, the interactive shell will automatically exit and return you to your command line or terminal prompt. After executing the above code snippet, the interactive shell will exit automatically. Exiting interactive mode in Python is simple and can be done using built-in functions like exit, or quit, or by sending a keyboard interrupt signal, Control plus C. Additionally, if you're executing a script or a block of code, the shell will exit automatically upon completion. Now you know how to exit the Python interactive shell efficiently. Happy coding! ChatGPT